All right, hey, what's up guys, Gratuitous here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about why your speakers are popping when you're turning your audio interface on and off and how to properly do it to prevent the popping. So the whole trick is you wanna have your speakers off when you're turning on and off your audio interface. So watch this, if it's on, you're gonna hear a pop. It sounds horrible. Right, it sounds so bad. So um, now for me to turn off my speakers, I actually have um, a power bar on the side here so I don't have to go in behind. I'll make a video on that one day. So speakers are off. You can turn on your audio interface. There's gonna be no popping. Turn on your speakers, good to go. Now when you wanna turn off your system, you turn your speakers off first then you can turn off your audio interface and you're good to go. Okay, so let's just repeat that one more time. So you have to make sure that your speakers are off when you're turning on and off your audio interface. So if you wanna turn on your audio system, you turn on the audio interface first, you turn on your speakers, nice clean uh, turn on, right? Now, if you wanna turn them off, you turn off the speakers first and then the audio interface. Now, uh, like I wrote in my article on my website there is, I would really like to see these audio interface companies come out with some type of like soft start because it's quite an aggressive transient on our speakers. And if you follow it just the way how I showed you, you know, you're not gonna get that loud pop. Is it bad for the speakers? I'm not sure, but it doesn't sound good. Um, and that's it. So if you guys wanna learn FL Studio and how to make beats, check out my website, it's gratuitous.com. I also have a free book for you guys. You can download it for beat makers. Just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. It'll teach you some valuable tips about how to get started making beats with uh, while using FL Studio. So that's this video. I'll talk to you in another one.